Hi folks and welcome to Attica Armory. So today I'm gonna to show you guys a couple of little tips and tricks for cleaning your 22 long rifle or 22 Magnum revolvers in the field. Before you get started, just make sure that your firearm is unloaded. Now some of you guys might laugh at me for this, but um, I actually, I stole this from my wife now don't don't tell her because she'll be really upset for those of you that don't know what this is this is called a mascara brush folks this is a mascara brush yes and I use one all right don't judge so one of the reasons why I really like this is because one it's super portable okay it's very small I can put this almost anywhere two it's made out of plastic so even this shiny little metal stuff here is actually just it's just plastic with some kind of metallic coating on it and the nice thing about it is that being that this is all plastic I don't have to worry about damaging my nice barrel crown since I have to clean from the muzzle I don't have to worry about it gashing it up and scraping it up this is all just basically soft plastic and there's that nice barrel crown and we want to definitely be very careful with that three it's got the brush and it's got a rod that I can use for cleaning in the field just to push uh, some patches through so basically this is like an all-in-one little scrubber tool and I can even use it uh, to scrub in the little cracks and crevices that I can't get to with my fingers so this is really a very amazing little universal tool and I liked it so much that I went out and I got on the internet and I bought like a whole bag of these things and I've got one of these in each one of my 22 revolvers in the case so just in case I need to clean it out in the field so let me show you how this works so this is a Ruger LCRX 22 it's got a three inch barrel and we did a review on this gun uh, I'll post a link to that video so you guys can uh, check that out we actually compared this to the Smith & Wesson model 317 kit gun and uh, this is also kind of a kit gun in and of itself and it's a really awesome little gun uh, I like this thing a lot so I went and dumped uh, probably about a hundred rounds through it today you can see that it's relatively fouled up um, not nothing too crazy uh, but we're gonna get it nice and cleaned up and ready to go again one other thing if you guys decide that you want to remove the crane pivot pin here for easier cleaning you can definitely do that by removing that crane pivot pin just remember that when you reinstall this you've got to torque this to between 23 and 27 inch pounds but since we're doing a uh, just a regular kind of field type cleaning I'm not going to remove that crane pivot pin because it's not absolutely necessary but definitely you're going to want to remove that every now and then and uh, disassemble the cylinder and really clean it out and today we're going to be using some of our Attica Armory citrus powered synthetic CLP and you can uh, find out more about that by visiting us at AttagaArmory.com and I do have some pre-cut patches these are basically 30 caliber patches that have been cut in half and these are relatively thin kind of lint free patches that work really well for rim fires so the first thing I want to do is I want to thoroughly soak all of the chambers as well as the barrel and then wipe all these surfaces down with some CLP just to kind of let it soak in a bit and start to do its magic Now I'm going to go through these just kind of one at a time like this all the way through maybe two or three rounds. And I'm going to go ahead and do that one more time for the barrel. And that's about all it takes for that now I'm gonna get a wet patch and I'm gonna wipe down all of these surfaces that are all fouled up here for this part I'm just gonna use a full-size patch And 
and I want to wipe down the front of that cylinder. And the side walls as well. And I'm going to pop my extractor out a little and just kind of clean and lube underneath it. Now, another really handy tool to have in your field cleaning kit is an old toothbrush. And no, that's not from brushing my teeth, folks. I might like it dirty, but not that dirty. And if you don't have one of these handy, of course you can revert to your trusty mascara brush to get into those nooks and crannies. I do like to kind of hit the front face of that cylinder as well. And I like to hit the back end of it as well. Of course, these terry cloths are also really handy for just wiping this whole entire gun down. So I'll throw one of these in my field cleaning pack and uh, just use this as well as uh, a nice wipe down with some of our CLP in lieu of actually having a gun cloth. Basically, if you just clean the outside of this with CLP, wipe down the excess with a terry cloth, you really don't even need a gun cloth. It does the job. Now I'm gonna start the process of cleaning all of the chambers in the cylinder with some dry patches. You can basically use each side of these on a separate cylinder. So I just kind of do one side, push it through, and I do another side, push that through. And that's it. You're done with that one. You can see why I love this mascara brush so much. I never thought that I would ever say that in my life, but it's true. Now, I just did that process one time because really for a quick field cleaning, let's say out at the range or maybe during a hunt or something like that, that's really about all you need if you're not dumping tons and tons of rounds. It, it's clean enough right now to go back to work. But if you really wanna clean it thoroughly, I would do that same process twice. And always make sure that you dry out both the chambers and the barrel. You don't wanna leave a bunch of dripping, goopy CLP inside of any of those chambers or in the barrel. All it takes is a tiny little thin layer of CLP to protect in there. So running that dry patch through there like that leaves just the right amount to protect. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the barrel. So I'm gonna go ahead and run one more dry patch through there because I like it to be relatively dry unless I'm actually gonna store it for a long time. If I'm gonna store it, I'll definitely leave the barrel and the chambers nice and wet with CLP. But I do shoot this thing pretty regularly, so I'm gonna make sure that it's nice and dry in the barrel. And once again, that is clean enough right there to go back to work. As I mentioned before, you can do this process one more time with the barrel to get it really gleaming. But uh, realistically, this is about all you need. So I'm just gonna take a dry patch and wipe away some of this excess CLP and fouling on the frame. Now 
Now you can use that precision dropper to drip one drop of CLP down into the action here. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to do that. I wouldn't do it every single time because it's just going to get overfilled with lube. But maybe once every like thousand rounds or so, uh, one drop in the action and then cycle that action a few times. Kind of work it in and last but not least we're going to take our terry cloth and we're going to remove all the excess residual clp from the outside of the gun really regardless of whatever product you use you don't want a bunch of oily stuff all over the outside of your gun and then take it out into the field because really what ends up happening is it just attracts more dust and more debris so it's always a good idea to kind of wipe it dry before you get out there so that it's not dripping and gooping and you know oily everywhere not to mention that you kind of want to keep oil away from your ammo you know ammo and oil are just not things that mix and look at that She's a real beauty. You can see just how quick and easy it is to keep those revolvers humming out in the field. So guys, don't feel bad. Just go out and get yourself some mascara brushes. It's okay. Ladies, I'm sure you're one step ahead of us on this one. And that about wraps it up today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you again next time at Attica Armory.